Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's Christine, and we're here to do some Afrikaans today in the lesson 10 Things You Always Want to Hear. So we're all excited about this one, obviously, because I'm going to be telling you things that you want to hear. <laughs> Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment, but it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people, if you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag, because it's always nice to make someone else's day. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Long lost friends, long lost lovers, parents in different countries, whatever. Today's world, we're all over the globe. Our friends live in China. Our brother lives in England. Today, it's really common to know people that live really, really far away from us. And it's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you. But it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out. Think about that friend and let them know, I miss you. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good and at the end of the day you might get rewarded. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jij doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat, or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on, um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner, and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday, and they tell you that, and just, oh, what a relief. The food was great, the guy thinks it's great, or your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. <laughs> en jij win and you win. En jij win and you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jij was raag. You were right. Jij was raag. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling. You get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. 
you've got an unlimited budget, an unbeperkte begroting, to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang, the best one there is, because you've got everything you need, you can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts, because it doesn't come around often. Ek is op pad na a koffiewinkel. Goeie idee, ek is lis vir die thee. Is jou man ook in Durban? Ja, Bert het gister gekom. Is hy nou in die centrum? Ja, ons werk al by in die centrum. Werk jylle elke dag? Bert werk elke dag en ek werk deeltijds. I'm Anne-Marie. Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com's Afrikaans in 3 Minute, the fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. In the last lesson, you learned the phrase Praat u Engels, which means do you speak English? We also mentioned the word skistoch, which means excuse me. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use this expression and other phrases as well when apologizing in Afrikaans. We use skistoch in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, skistoch in coffee, as Excuse me, a coffee, please. We can also use it when asking a question. Skistoch, waar is die uitgang? Excuse me, where is the exit? Here are some other words you can use for saying excuse me. Excuse. You can use this to get somebody's attention in a formal situation. Excuse. In informal situations, the way to say excuse me is just sorry, sorry. All three words, skistoch, excuse, and sorry, can be used when trying to get someone's attention or when apologizing. However, you might want to use a different phrase to apologize if you really want to sound sincere. That phrase is ek is jammer. It means I am sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Ek is jammer. First we have ek is, which means I am. Then we say the Afrikaans word for sorry, jammer. Ek is jammer. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. There's one big reason that you should know how to say I'm sorry in Afrikaans. South Africans love the fact that someone is making an effort by trying to communicate in Afrikaans. But if you apologize in Afrikaans, they will say, Dit is okay, which means it's okay. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Woon jy weer in South Africa? Ja, ek woon weer hier. Ek woon weer in Pretoria. In die centrum? Ja, en waar woon jy? Ek woon ook in Pretoria. Werk jy in die centrum? Ja, ek werk hier. Waar werk jy? Ek werk van die huis af. In this lesson, you'll learn some of the most common greetings used when speaking Afrikaans. Is jy reg? Are you ready? Let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is Hallo. Hallo. Hallo means hi or hello. We can use this greeting with friends or relatives. Hallo. The most used formal greetings changes depending on the time of day. Let's see what they are. First we have Goeie dag. Literally, Goeie dag means good day. Goeie dag. As a rule of thumb, we can use Goeie dag only during the daytime from late morning until early evening. Next is the greeting we say only for the morning. Goeie mora. Goeie mora. For the afternoon, we say Goeie middag. Goeie middag. During the evening, we say Goeie naand. Goeie naand. Goed is Afrikaans for Good. Mora, middag and naand means morning, afternoon and evening, respectively. Easy, right? Now, what should you say when you leave? Afrikaners usually say tot ziens when leaving in a formal situation. Tot ziens. Tot ziens means goodbye. When we say goodbye to friends or relatives, we use the informal lekker dag. Lekker dag. You can also say bye. Bye. 
Now you can greet people in many different ways in Afrikaans. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say hello. If you want to be a bit more formal, you can use Goeiedag during the daytime, Goeiemorgen in the morning, Goeiemiddag in the afternoon, and Goeienaand in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say Tot ziens. And in an informal situation, it's Lekker dag or Bye. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Anne Marie's tips. In informal situations, Afrikaners, especially good friends, commonly greet each other by giving each other a quick hug. If you're unsure, you can just stick out your hand and give a firm handshake and a smile. A smile goes a long way. Hello, Anit. Hoe gaan dit? Hello, Mika. Goed dankie. Hoe gaan dit met jou? Goed dankie. Hoe gaan dit met Jan? Heel goed en met Bert en die kinders? Ook goed. Wat een verrassing. Ja. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to thank people. Remember, good manners are important. Are you ready? Let's start. Saying thank you in Afrikaans is very easy. It's just one word. Danki. Danki. To say thank you very much, you just need to add baya, meaning a lot, at the beginning. Baya danki. Baya danki. What if someone says danki to you? How do you answer? It's easy. Here is the most common response. Dit is a plasir. Dit is a plasir. Dit is a plasir can be used with just about anybody. Literally, this phrase means happily done or I did it with pleasure. So when someone says danki to you, you can simply reply with dit is a plasir. Now it's time for Anne Marie's tips. If you're not sure about whether to use donkey or buy a donkey, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. Just say donkey. You don't have to worry about saying the long version. The difference between the two depends only on how grateful you are or how much someone has helped you.